If someone were to ask me why I wanted to be a designer, the first thing I would bring up would be how much I love art, how it has been the biggest part of my life ever since I was young, and how I love being creative and coming up with new ideas. I always knew I wanted a job that was interactive and hands-on, a job where I could use my creativity and artistic skills in the real world while still using my analytical and logical thinking skills. And I truly believe that communication design embodies all of that. Not only is it important to have a strong artistic eye and ability, but you also must have the analytical and logical skills to be able to really think about how a design will work and affect others. One specific type of design I'm interested in is advertising. I think it really combines my need to think critically and empathetically to relate to consumers and market to a certain group of people, yet it also has the artistic component that I love. When looking for design problems in the real world, it's not hard to find one just by looking for parking in a busy city. Many street signs that label times for available street parking are confusing, hard to understand, or conflict with other signs for the same street. The signs I found happen to have conflicting times on when parking is allowed. Many street parking signs have so much information crammed onto such a tiny sign, the type can be small and very hard to read for someone driving past who is supposed to be focusing on the road. I proposed putting up a sign that has a weekly schedule with each day drawn out and certain times blocked for when parking is or isn't allowed. This would fix a multitude of problems. Drivers would no longer have to try to quickly read street signs while driving past, and instead they can quickly glance to see a clear visual that will let them know if parking is allowed or not. Another project we worked on was creating expressive typography. Using typography to be meaningful and portray a message is an important component of designing. Designers need to know how to use typography in a way that makes the observer feel good and understand the message the designer wants to give. One of the words I used was growing, and I made each letter bigger than the next to clearly show the meaning of the word. Also, with the word hanging, I positioned the last few letters so it looked like they were hanging from the previous letter. I also used words that I could portray the sound of. So I thought of the word clock, and I thought of what most people associate with that word. And the most obvious thing that comes to mind when thinking of a clock is the tick-tock sound that it makes. So when looking at the picture of the clock, you can clearly see the tick-tock sound that makes up the design. And that's kind of how I used my typography to portray a message or meaning. And all of these are just a few ways designers can really use typography to make a statement. When doing the personal icon set project, we focused a lot on iterations and refinement. We talked especially on how important it is to make a bunch of different designs for the same topic, even when you think you know what you want the final design to look like. This can be really helpful because the first few ideas a designer has are most likely the ideas that are the least original. Therefore, the more ideas a designer comes up with, the greater chance they will end up with a really unique idea that they really love. I tried to use this type of thinking when I made my mind map about myself. I came up with as many things as possible that would fit on one page about myself, starting with really basic ideas, but eventually thinking of the little obscure things that really stand out and make me unique. This is a great concept to use for any type of brainstorming, but it is especially useful for designers. Coming up with lots of ideas and iterations of the same design allows the designer to have a bunch of options that they can choose a few from to focus on more. Another thing we worked on with the icon project was refinement. As a class, we talked about how we were making icons that needed to portray an idea in a clear, simple way. So starting out, my design might have been kind of cluttered or too detailed for a small one inch icon, but having that more detailed starting point made me simplify and refine my next designs and then refine them one last time to get to the final design. It is really important to start out at a point that really just gets your ideas down that you can refine later on because through the refinement process you can change your idea and design ever so slightly to really perfect it. Hardly anyone can get a perfect design from the very start. Even if you're just doing a painting, most people have to sketch out what they paint before they just start going at it. This process of refinement can really help your designs to tidy them up and make them more professional so that they can really be perfect. And you can see that through the different steps of the refinement of my icon project. By my final icons, you can see how I had to change the designs ever so slightly so that the message came across clearly. I had to play not only with the designs, but also with how I colored them so that I could get them to all look cohesive and put together. And finally, once I had my final designs, I made them into buttons. 
Overall, there was a lot more to the process of making a well-designed button than I originally thought there would be. But by having these steps like the iterations and refinement phases, it forces the designer to make their design better rather than just going with their first idea. And I think this is really important because it makes sure the designer continues to self-improve and isn't just comfortable where they are at currently. And this is incredibly important because the design world is always changing and innovating, so designers need to as well. Ultimately, in this class, I learned a lot about the different types of designing and it really enhanced my love for design even more.